In our country, things happened that this musical is based upon. The relationship between somebody who was white and somebody who was black. Happened to be a couple of artists, but the facts are that here this happened. I lived through part of this. Lived through a great deal of it all, but as a matter of fact, I was fortunate. I didn't experience some of the violence that went on with it. Well, in this nice little city, north of New York City, nobody would host us. We were an interracial, interdenominational group of young people. Now, that was my answer about Missouri. Got to the bus station, had about a two hour layover. And here in the bus station, there it was. Walked in, and there was a little room that I remember that probably was about the size of this off stage area over here, a neon sign above it colored. There's other waiting room out here. So, hey, the military says if you're traveling in group orders, you must stay together. We stayed together, so we sat down. A few minutes later, Porter came by, rapidly, black call. He said, You're not supposed to be here. So I said, Well, we have to be here. You know, we're all traveling together. We were in uniform. He shrugged his shoulders. A little while later, the station master came down. And he said a couple of words, which since you are young people, I won't use those kind of words in front of Finally, one of my advisors said to me, did I think, did I think that it might be because of race? You know, the thought, that even with my past experiences, had never occurred to me. Married, my family was the first black family in town, my children, so forth, first go to school and all that type of stuff. I taught there 10 years. One of the things that made me think about leaving, made my wife and I think about leaving, there were two assassinations that happened during this time. One was President Kennedy, the other was Martin Luther King. I still remember very vehemently what I was doing when the announcement came over that President Kennedy had been shot. And, uh, well, the, the school, I said it was a central school, one building, K-12, and the elementary schools used to listen to PBS and some of the kids' programs. And I just assumed when the words came on that they hadn't uh, filtered out the high schools. Then the superintendent came on and said that the president had been shot. I was devastated. Entrance to the diner because of the color. I saw black only, white only. I saw all of that stuff, and it really has left an amazing impression with me, even today, and that's many, many years ago. You young people are lucky in the sense that your grandparents and great-grandparents have suffered through all of this and have made the strides to where you are today. Uh, I became a disc jockey at college, as well as, you know, going to school, playing sports and so on. So, Memphis. The main character, Huey Calhoun, is loosely based on a disc jockey out of Memphis called Dewey Phillips. Dewey Phillips was wild and crazy. He actually started out working in a W.T. Grant store, and he would commandeer the microphone and plug records. He was in the record department, so he plugged the records, and all of a sudden, people started flocking to that store to hear what Dewey was going to play. It was usually a rhythm and blues group. That's black music. To answer your question over there, rhythm and blues, it was called sepia music, which is color, race music, black, and then became rhythm and blues, R&B, okay? So, he used to play these songs, and they'd sell. They'd sell like crazy. So a local station in Memphis, WHBQ, heard about this crazy guy and said, all right, let's try it. Spring is the hottest thing that comes in real hot and blue. Come to WHBQ in Memphis, Tennessee, and Friday night, tomorrow's payday and fast day. That's a good deal. Yes, so the first 15 minutes of real hot and blue is coming to the courtesy of the best beer that money can buy. We're talking about CV for me and CV for you. That champagne velvet distributed by the mass security company right here in Mississippi.
love black music. I just love black people. Let's relearn all the rhythm and blues songs that he that he sang. He idolized black. Twenty thousand people showed up before the first artist, actually the house band, played one tune before the fire department and the police shut it down. The publicity for this being shut down was so huge across the nation because on the bill were black artists and white artists. And so all the major newspapers picked up. Covering records was done frequently back then. And as you heard earlier, even into the 60s, people were covering records. So good or bad, it had its positives, but it's got its negatives. But without that exposure, um, Many people would never have heard of the original artists. It's not a horse, it is the big telling. The dancing is terrific, the storyline is terrific, and if we could just jump to that last song, Feel My Rock and Roll. This is the ending number of the show, and it just really pulls everything. Oh,